Hey, it's Brandon here from Artismia, and in this video, we're gonna create this special effect using Procreate Dreams. Beam me up, Scotty! <laughs> Step 1. Record a video of yourself or an actor that you would like to apply the effect to. It is very helpful to use a tripod to maintain continuity between video clips when editing for this effect. Step 2. Import the video into a video app like iMovie, LumaFusion, or Final Cut Pro, whichever you have available. Since iMovie is free on an iPad, I'll be using that in this video tutorial. Trim the video to just a few seconds prior to the point that you would like to apply the special effect. I'm going to trim it to right where I say, beam me up, Scotty. Yeah, Scotty. And then I'm going to end it right after I say Scotty, and there's just a little pause. I'm going to end the video there. Beam me up, Scotty. Now that your clip is trimmed, export it to photos. I suggest doing this as it will reduce the size of the video and make it easier for the iPad to process the higher resolution videos within the Procreate Dreams app. Now, of course, this all depends upon which iPad you are using and may not be necessary, but it can be helpful. After exporting the clip of your actor, tap the edit button of your iMovie project so that you can go back and edit your video again. But this time trim and select a few seconds of the background only. Now export, save or share this clip to your iPad photos. This next step is optional. If you want to include a sound effect to your background video, you may want to do so now with your editing software, but you can always add sound effects later in Procreate Dreams. For this tutorial, I'll be using the laser sound effect found in the iMovie Audio Sound Effects tab. Tap the plus button next to the laser sound effect and it will be placed at the beginning of the background clip. Now export, save or share this video clip with the additional sound effect. Now this next step is optional also and is dependent upon the model iPad you are using. As some iPads will only allow one video track per Dreams project. If your iPad only allows for one video track, then you're going to need a background still frame. So a couple options that you have to create a background still frame for this project or this tutorial would be to use a screen capture on your iPad, an app like Frame Grabber, or a Mac with QuickTime. For this video, I'll be using a screenshot of the background that can be accomplished by selecting your background video with the Photos app, place the playhead at the frame that you would like, and then press the volume and power button at the same time. This will create a screenshot and save it to your photos. Keep in mind that a screenshot may not be high enough resolution for the video you're creating, but it'll work for this tutorial. Now crop your screen capture as close as you can to the edges of your border's background and then save it to your photos. Step 4. Open Procreate Dreams app. Tap the plus button to create a new project. Tap here to select the resolution of your project. Tap the three dots on the right hand side to select the frame rate and duration. For this tutorial, just leave it default. Now tap empty to create the project. With the stage in the timeline now open, tap the plus button on the right hand side. Here you have options to add tracks, photos, videos, texts, or files. Tap on video. Now select the clip we just made in iMovie, the one of your actor. And then tap the add button in the top right. It will be imported on its own track. This next step, as I said earlier, is dependent upon your iPad. If your iPad can handle multiple video tracks, tap the plus button again and add your background video clip. If your iPad can only handle one video within the timeline, then tap the plus button, select photos, and then select your background photo that you just created. For the next step, if your iPad can have multiple video tracks, we're going to add an additional track below the actor track. To add a new track, you could hit the plus button, but a faster way to do it is to drag and drop your background video below the actor video. This will automatically create a new video track. Now, if you're using a background still frame, you can reposition the track itself so that it is below the video track. To do this, hold with your finger and drag the track down. Either way, whichever method you are using, make sure your background is on a separate track below your actor track. If your background still frame is too small, you will need to resize it to fit the stage. To do this, drag the corner red dot with your pencil or fingertip. And with an additional finger, touch and hold the screen so that it will constrain the position and keep the image centered. Now reposition the actor video clip on the timeline ahead of the background so that there is an overlap like this. With the clips now lined up, it is now time to add an action to the video clip. To do this, place the playhead or the little red clapboard a few frames ahead of the end of the actor clip and tap the red clapboard action button. Tap on Filter, and then Opacity. 
This will create a keyframe. Now drag the playhead to the right a few frames. Tap the action button again, select opacity, and then adjust the amount to zero. This will create an additional keyframe. We have just now created a crossover dissolve, giving the illusion of the actor disappearing. It is important to adjust the two clips or tracks so that your background video or your background photo line up with each other, keeping continuity and smoothness. You can adjust the timing of the crossover dissolve transition by adjusting the keyframes. Simply move them closer together to make it faster or further apart to slow it down. Step 5. Adding a sound effect. If you exported your background video clip with a sound effect added, you're good to go. But you may want to add additional sound effects. To do this, make certain that you have an audio file or sound effect file saved on your device or in the cloud. I have a few sound effects already saved on my iCloud files folder, which I'll be using for this tutorial. To add an audio file to your project, tap the plus button. Select files and choose the sound effect that you would like to use. Drag and drop to reposition the sound effect where it sounds best. Daddy. Be sure to position the sound effect in such a manner that it works well visually with the transition. Daddy. Now it's time for the more creative or fun part. Tap the plus button and create a new track. Tap the squiggle draw button on the left of the plus button. Now drag the tab at the top of the timeline down to switch to flipbook mode. You can reposition the flipbook window by tapping and holding the small gray tab at the top of that window. Since I'm trying to create the illusion of an old Star Trek beaming effect, I'll be using a brush called Glimmer from the Luminance Collection. By tapping the color swatch selector in the top right corner, you can switch to whatever color you would like. Test the brush to determine what it will look like. You can always tap with two fingers to undo. Now resize the brush and its opacity. Now apply a layer of particles on the stage. Tap the flipbook frame and then the plus button to create a new frame. Adjust the size and opacity again and then apply another layer of particles onto the stage. Tap the flipbook frame again and create a new frame. Repeat these steps numerous times to create the illusion of a buildup of particles. It may be helpful to use onion skin to determine particle placements. To turn the onion skinning on, tap the time code in the lower left corner and then select Show Onion Skin. This will show the previous frame and a different color of particles so that you know where you just painted. Continue adding more and more particles, changing the color, opacity, and brush size as needed. Make it fun! Remember, you can always undo and redo with simple hand gestures. To undo, tap with two fingers. To redo, tap with three fingers. To view your progress while in flipbook mode, you can hold and drag your pencil or finger on the small flipbook window, swiping left and right or back and forth to cycle through the frames. Tap the done button in the top right corner to exit drawing mode. Now you can press play to see what your animation looks like. Now I want to add more detail to the particle beam transporter effect. So I tap the plus button again to create a new track and then the drawing button to access drawing tools, and then using flipbook mode, I select the pulse brush. Following the same technique as before, and working one frame at a time, I change colors, brush sizes, and opacities for each frame to achieve the desired effect. When I'm satisfied with my efforts, I hit the done button to exit drawing mode and return to the timeline, where again, I can press the play button to see how my animated special effect is looking. At this point, enter Timeline Edit Mode by tapping on the Timeline Edit Mode button. While in this mode, you can select multiple frames to move, cut, copy, or paste. You can also group them together as one clip. To select multiple frames, drag or draw a line through each frame you want to select. Then press and hold on the frame for the pop-up window options. Select Group to group all the frames. Once grouped, you can add additional effects. Now exit Timeline Edit Mode by tapping on the Timeline Edit Mode button again. Drag the clapboard playhead to the beginning of the newly created clip of pulse brush beams. Tap the action button again, select filter, and lower the opacity. This will create a new keyframe. Drag the clapboard playhead to the right again and add an additional keyframe. This time, increase the opacity to 100% or to a level that looks good to you. Drag the playhead to the right again to create another keyframe that is the same percentage as the previous one. Now drag to the end of the clip and repeat the process, lowering the opacity to zero.
As you are working, continuously press the play button as needed to see your progress. Subtle changes can sometimes create the best results. Next, repeat the process of adding opacity adjustment keyframes to the particle buildup track. Follow the same steps to create a subtle effect that looks good to you. You may need to adjust the length of your clips to line up with your crossover dissolve to get the timing just right. Do this by dragging the end of the clip to lengthen it. You can also adjust the keyframes as needed to get the best results. When you are satisfied with your work, it is time to share your video. Tap the title or name of your project to access the project options menu. Tap the share button and select video. Then save the video to your iPad. After you save the new video, exit Procreate Dreams and return to iMovie or your favorite video editing software. Open your previously edited project and trim or edit your original video. Now import or add your newly created animated special effect video. Trim and adjust the timing as needed to achieve the best looking results. Here you can obviously add additional sound effects, music, or whatever else you would like to complete your video project. Now here are a few examples of achieving different results by using different brushes. Beat me up, Scotty! Beat me up, Scotty! Beat me up, Scotty! Wow, I can't believe you made it this far. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications as I'll be making more tutorials just like this one in the future.